Hi everyone, this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and I just wanted to share uh, some beauty things that I have um, gotten and received. And um, I used to be like really into makeup when I was younger, um, but when my Grammy got sick and then after that my dad got sick, a lot of my energy went to... Um, helping them get better or taking care of them or praying and hoping and, and just, you know, that kind of thing. I would say probably like 75% or even 90% of my efforts uh, or my energy went into um, hoping and trying to make people better that, um, were very near and dear to my heart and the rest of the time was spent um the rest of my energy was for crafting and and in my in teaching and school um so you know when you have something like that taking up all of your energy or most of your energy then some things have to go and unfortunately one of the things that went was me you know taking very good care of myself so it is now time I think for me to start taking care of myself and um, making myself look good and feel good and things like that. So I probably haven't bought makeup like, you know, real makeup. Like I'd buy eyeshadow palettes here and there. Like I bought the Urban Decay um, Alice in Wonderland palette when it came out. And, you know, I did a haul from Ulta one during the summer once and got some benefit types of things, but I haven't been very dedicated makeup wearer for probably about six, six years. Yeah. So it was time for me to get some new stuff and, and I thought I'd share it with you. So one of the things that I got, um, my mom got this for me and said it was a present from my dad from heaven. So, <laughs> so there you go. And uh, this was the Clinique Limited Edition eyeshadow palette. They have one every year, and it's like $22 or $25. And if you ever see it, you should grab it because it's an amazing deal. And the shadows are really nice if you're into eyeshadows. So it comes in this really cute um, packaging. It says Clinique right here. And then um, there's a very nice smear up top. And then there's all these eyeshadows. And I'm telling you, it's like a really good deal. <laughs> and it comes with three highlight colors, three lid, or all these lid colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lid colors and three uh, crease colors. And then there's an angle brush, a sponge applicator, an eyeshadow brush, and kind of an angled eyeshadow brush. And what's really cool is like this one, this little brush has a number one, so it's for the highlighters. I mean, you don't have to do it that way, but that's how they did it, kind of like a step-by-step -step type of thing. And I don't know if you can tell, but the shadows are like really pretty. So I got that. That was a really good deal. And I really like the case that it's in and everything. And then, um, one time when we were in Omaha, I I knew I'd wanted this. This is the Urban Decay um, Oz Great, the Great and Powerful Glinda palette, and I love Urban Decay. Definitely one of my favorite companies. A very nice smear again in the lid, and then it comes with it actually comes with eight eyeshadows because these two right here are double shadows in the same pan. And I have yet to hit pan on some of my eyeshadows that I have currently. So I think that's pretty cool. And then uh, the other thing that's cool about this palette is they all pop out and have the um, color name on the bottom. And then this also can go with all the other shadows that they sell singly too. So you can pop these out and put other ones in if you want to, which is pretty cool. And then it comes with a Rockstar um, eyeliner. It has a purple, this is a blue duochrome, and a pinkish peach duochrome, a pink, a peach, a gold and silver, and kind of like a gunmetal gray. I really like this palette. There's um, a different one. There's another one, too, that's more like browns and greens. It's really pretty. 
my mom got that palette, but I got this one. And then this also came with a special edition super saturated lip color um, in the color Glinda. So it was made specially for this palette. And here's the color on that. It's really pretty. And um, this whole kit with the lip pencil, the eye pencil, and all the shadows was $49. And it's um, well over $100 worth of stuff. So um, I got that and I've used it and I like it a lot. So there's that. And then this was another present from Dad from Heaven. But my mom said it is a Sonicare Mia 2 and it's a tool to wash your face with and you put your soap in the middle here and then you turn it on and I guess the right word is vibrates but it's not really it doesn't really vibrate in this like turns and um, but not like all the way around or anything and I don't know it's like really cool it is pricey but I can definitely tell the difference in my face and my face, let me tell you, needed some help. I mean, it, it it still does. I've been using this for probably a week and a half, and I can definitely tell a difference in my skin. And the other cool thing about this is that um, I've noticed that I'm not having to use as much product. Like, I'm not having to use as much moisturizer. Like, I can use less, and it's enough to do my whole face. I don't have to use as much foundation, which is cool, too kind of saves you a little bit so and I don't use near as much soap either uh, like face soap and you can use any face soap you want with this so it just can't have it can't be a scrub like it has to be just a straight face wash um, but I so far I really really like this and I think it's helping my skin at least look much healthier than it had been um, in the past couple of years so I got that and then um, I hadn't had foundation, like true, legit foundation for probably five years. So I wanted to try this new Naked Skin by Urban Decay. And I'm shade 3.5. And I had the girl at Sephora like actually um, test me. And of course they were sold out of my shade, so then my mom picked it up for me later. But um, so I got that, and I really like it. I also got the brush that goes with it, the optical blurring brush. And I really like it, it's super soft and really dense so you can buff into your skin and it's, I just really like it. And this is like lightweight, but it gives pretty good coverage. So really like that. And then to go with that, I got the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Ultra Definition Finishing Powder. And I've only used this once, so We'll see. It has this like little poofy thing on top and the powder comes out of the top and you're just supposed to pat it on your face. I think that the powder is going to be really good, but I think I might eventually cut this little poofy off and just use the brush uh, to put it on. But I'm still playing with it and we'll see. Um, that's kind of what the reviews had said on this too, that the powder, that everybody really liked the powder, but um, did not like the little foamy thing so we'll see on that but um so far I'm really liking that as a finishing powder and I really like the brush and I really like the foundation and then all of my Hello Kitty peeps are gonna like this part of the haul because I got a Hello Kitty eyeshadow palette and this was from Sephora Here's what the out of the side of the box looks like. Very cute. It's from the Tokyo Pop collection. And here's the palette. It is much bigger than I thought it would be. Here's my hand. Um, I don't have any of the other Hello Kitty eyeshadow palettes from Sephora because once you swatch the colors on yourself, they're, they all are like the same color, like there's no pigmentation. But this one, I'm pretty impressed with. So open it up like this. There's a mirror in there. And then here's the eyeshadows. There's like a really bright green, a lime green. This black has purple glitter in it. And 
a bright blue, a bright pink, and uh, it's kind of like a lavendery white shade. It is like really cool. And then this down here is a highlight for your cheeks. That's really pretty. And it's like different colors, you know, and they all blend together. What is super cool also about this palette, besides that the shadows are actually pigmented, not like the other ones, it lifts out so you can like hold it while you're doing your makeup if you want to. But also when this, when the makeup is done, you have a little vanity. And the mirror actually comes out and it's like that. So, and there's a magnet so it stays. So you actually have like a little vanity mirror. It's like super cute. This was $40. But the eyeshadows are nice enough that I think it's worth that. If the shadows had been like the other palettes, I would say skip this. But because the shadows come out and you can keep this little Hello Kitty case, which is like awesome, I think that's pretty cool. And the shadows on here are pretty good. And I think they are, they are going to be blendable too, or buildable. So yeah, for my Hello Kitty peeps, <laughs> I got that. And I, I'm really glad I got this because I was on the fence on it for a long time because I would swatched the other palettes in store and was not impressed. But this one is pretty good. Um, not, I wouldn't say as good as Urban Decay. Like, I love Urban Decay shadows, but that one's pretty good. And then I also got these super cute hair bows. And these are awesome because, and I've seen gurus use these, not these particular ones, but... They are Velcro and they just kind of, they hold your hair back while you're putting on your makeup or washing your face. They are like awesome. And yes, they really do work. So um, instead of using a headband or something that could possibly put a dent in your hair after you've already done it, these are like super cool. I think these were $10. Um, you can probably find Velcro hair thingies cheaper, but I'm paying for the Hello Kitty or something. <laughs> And then today, I don't have very much time today, my mom and I went to Stage, and I know that that store is called Bialz, like in Texas, but um, they have higher end makeup stuff. So I got the Clinique All By The Eyes Serum, and this helps with dark circles and puffiness and stuff. And I've had a sample of this before and really liked it. And then I also got the Redness Solutions Urgent Relief Cream because my cheeks have been very itchy lately and like in my contouring line like underneath my cheeks I have been like so dry there and itchy and so I thought maybe this would help and I also have eczema, eczema and uh, some uh, redness there so I guess it wouldn't necessarily be eczema more rosacea I guess but um, so I thought this would help and then can I do it I went to Walgreens a couple days ago, and for $1.50, they had these really cute mascaras from Wet n Wild. This one is called Retro Pink, and they were buy one, get one 50% off. And then this one is called Indigo Blue, I think. So just some fun mascara that wasn't very expensive. And, oh, and it was free gift time when I bought those Clinique things today. So this was our free gift. It came with this like little scarf to hang on a bag. And then it came with like all these goodies. 